This is a short video introduction to the notebook with additional Matplotlib examples that will be provided for this week. So by the end of this video, you should be able to use additional Jupyter Notebook resources as examples. In our additional notebook, we provide code for a number of examples. Still working with the world development indicators, we provide random indicator we pick random indicators and compare them against each other using li line plots and scatter plots. And then after working with the world development indicators, we also provide an example of how to create 3D plots like this in Matplotlib. We also provide an example using bubble plots. Bubble plots can be really helpful when you want to graph three dimensions easily. You can have an x and a y and a size of each point. In this example, we also color use color code to provide a fourth dimension. So in this image, we have angle, distance from the center, size of the bubble, and color all coded here. Note that unlike some of our earlier figures, you need to spend time interpreting and understanding the data in a figure like this. But the, it could be incredibly valuable for data exploration and for conveying more complex relationships when you're presenting your data. In addition to histograms, I frequently use box plots when I'm trying to understand distributions. This example provides you with a template for box plots and for placing figures side by side in Matplotlib. Box plots tell you the median, values within the interquartile range, and elements above the third quartile and below the first, as well as the maximum and minimum values. That's a lot of useful information all in one figure. So please be sure to check out these additional notebooks, as well as other examples online when you're looking for ways to visualize your data using Matplotlib in your upcoming project weeks.